Hi everyone, my name is Mehmood Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on making a video tutorial series on C programming language. In my last video, I completed the discussion on mid-level programming language and the topic of my today's discussion is high-level programming language. Before starting today's topic, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video or if you got some valuable information from this video, then click on like button, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any queries then let me know in the comment section. So as you can see here, I have written down few points so with the help of these points we will try to understand this high level programming language. Okay, So let us start our discussion with the first point. A high level language is a computer language which can be understood by the users. Okay. So this high level language or high level programming language is an another level of programming language. So in my previous two videos, I have discussed low level programming language and mid level programming language. So if you guys have not seen those two videos, I just recommend you guys to watch those two videos as well. And you can find those two videos in the same playlist. So a high level programming language is a computer language which can be understood by the users or which can be used by the programmers to write the programs to perform any complex task. And now the second point is the high level language is very similar to human language with set of rules that are used to make instructions more easily. So in the second point they have said is a high level language is almost similar to any human language like English or Hindi or any other language which we guys use to have a communication with each other. In any of the human language, we have some set of rules or grammars. Okay, So before uh, started speaking in any of the human language, first we go for learning the grammars and the rules of that particular language. Exactly the same way, if you want to learn any high programming language, example C, C++, Java, PHP, then you must know the rules the syntaxes of that particular language okay that's why it's mentioned here okay so a high level language is similar to any human language which comes up with set of rules which needs to learn to make the instructions more easily next point is every high level language has a set of predefined words known as keywords and a set of rules known as syntax to create instructions so if you want to write set of instructions using high level language then you must know few keywords keywords are some reserved words which are present in each and every high level programming language there are various keywords present in c c++ java python php so before you started writing instructions in any of the high level programming language then first you know various keywords Okay, and you also must know the syntaxes of each and every high level programming language. Okay, so what does this mean is each and every high level programming language will come with set of keywords and syntaxes. So the programmers first need to learn these keywords and syntaxes before starting to write the instructions. Next point is the high level language is easier to understand for the users but the computer cannot understand it. So high level language is very easy to understand by the programmers or by the users but the computer cannot understand this high level language. Next point is high level language needs to be converted into low level language to make it understandable by the computer. Since high level language is somewhat similar to English kind of language, the words, statements and the syntaxes used in high level language is somewhat similar to English kind of language so that's why it's easier for any student or any beginner to understand this language whereas computer cannot understand so if you want to make this language understandable by the computer you need to convert a high level programming language into a language which can understandable by the computer next point is we use compiler or interpreter to convert high level language to low level language so as i have told you that this high level programming language cannot be easily understandable by the computer so there must be a need of other softwares like compiler interpreter or translators which can convert instructions written in high level programming language into 
low level programming language now the next point is languages like cobol fortran basic c c++ java so these are the examples of high level programming languages all these programming languages are human understandable language like english to write program instructions okay so each and every of these high level programming languages are easy to understand by humans and after having proper practice users can easily write the instructions in these programming languages these instructions are converted to low level language by the compiler so that it can be understood by the computer okay as i have told you already that these instructions written in high level programming languages will be converted into low level language with various specialized softwares like compiler interpreter translators so that computer can understand these instructions these are some of the points which i have explain you to make you understand the concept of high level programming language okay so i hope you guys have understood what is high level programming language and now let us move ahead to discuss advantages and disadvantages of high level programming language so the first advantage is writing instructions in a high level language is easier okay so as i have told you that the high level programming language the syntax uh, keywords used in high level programming language are somewhat similar to english like language so that's why for a beginner it becomes easy to understand this language next is a high level language is more readable and understandable yes it's more easy to understand and read the programs created using high level language runs on different machines with little changes or no changes these instructions can be easily used in other platforms and these instructions can execute in other platforms without any errors okay now the next is easy to understand create programs find errors and modify okay so these high level programming language are easy to understand and we can easily create programs using high level programming language and one can easily find the errors debug the errors and modify easily whenever there is a need arises in future now let's move ahead to discuss disadvantages high level language needs to be translated into low level languages this is one of the disadvantage of high level programming language as i have told you at the very beginning that instructions written in a high level language cannot be understandable by the computer so there is a need of translating each and every instructions of high level language into low level language so that computer can understand next is high level language executes slower compared to middle and low level language okay yes as there is a need of a translation required in the case of high level programming language which makes the instructions written in high level language to be executed with slower speed as compared to middle and low level language okay so these are the advantages and disadvantages of a high level programming language so i hope you guys have understood so this is everything about uh, high level programming languages and then advantages and disadvantages of it okay so i hope you guys have understood this entire concept and uh, that's all for this uh, video guys uh, i will see you guys in my next video where i will be coming up with other topic on c programming language so, and if you guys have like this video if you guys got some valuable information from this video then just click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any queries then let me know in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching